Today I'm going to show you how to put together a fruit and cheese board. Um, I've been doing like a charcuterie board for a number of years. So this is really just a scaled down um, version of that. So we're just going to focus on fruit and cheese and then we'll have some crackers. So I don't have a large board and I don't have a huge number of people. So probably between 15 and 20 people, but there's going to be other um, desserts at my event. And really, this will be plenty. I'll probably still have leftovers. So it really goes a long way. So this board is a really pretty one. It's got a lot of detail on both sides. So um, just decide which side you want uh, to use because this one can be flipped around. Um, it does have a little branding here by the maker of the board. Um, so we'll decide which side we want to use. But I've got three fruits. So I've got some Honeycrisp apples. These are my favorite apples. And I've got some grapes. And we went with seedless grapes, and these are the dark ones, but you can get whatever kind of grape you like. And then I've got some strawberries. And then I've gone with three different kinds of cheese. So I have an apple smoked Gouda cheese, a Havarti cheese, which I love, one of my favorites. And then another one of my favorites is a Brie cheese. Now the brie, I will warm up in the oven, probably in the toaster oven, so I don't have to heat up the entire oven for this little tiny wheel of brie. But I love warmed up brie. And then we have some crackers. So I just went with a simple, like a Ritz cracker. Um, and then some multi-grain crackers, in case somebody's eating on the real healthy side. And then I went with a French baguette because I need that for the brie. <laughs> so, and then I've got some honey, some local honey. Um, and that will be wonderful drizzled with a little brie on a piece of um, uh, baguette with a little drizzle of honey will be fabulous. And then I did get some nuts, but I went with some honey roasted nuts. So instead of just plain, some almonds. So... So that's what we're putting on the board. So I'm going to get um, the fruit cleaned. Um, so just use um, your fruit and veggie wash or however you clean your fruit. Um, strawberries tend to hold a lot of dirt and grime. So uh, make sure you clean those really well. And don't make your board too far in advance. I usually, the day of my event, I will um, clean all my fruit. You can go ahead and get your cheese um, sliced. That will be fine. Uh, and then I just, um, probably about half hour before my guests arrive, I will put my board together. Um, I don't want my apples to turn brown, so I will squeeze some um, fresh squeezed lemon juice over them. I'll just, I'll put them in a bowl after I slice them and toss them in the fresh squeezed lemon juice, and that will keep them uh, from turning color. So, all right, I'm going to get this cleaned. All right, so we're ready to assemble our fruit and cheese board. So I've got... Uh, all the fruit cleaned. I cleaned and sliced my apples and then I squeezed some fresh lemon juice over them. I actually did this probably four hours ago and you can see that they're not turning brown. So, all right, so we're just going to start. There's no rhyme or reason to how you do this. It's really just 
you know, what you would like to see. So it's really a visual thing. So I'm going to take one of the bunches of my grapes. And if you notice, if you have any grapes on there that don't look that great, you can just pop those off of there. So we're just going to, I'm just going to lay these here. I think I want them to lay nice though. There we go. We want them kind of close to the edge. And then we've got uh, three kinds of cheeses. So we've got our smoked Gouda here. So let's just kind of place it can kind of just put it however you want. There we go. And we've got some Ritz crackers. So let's kind of just place those here and we've got some strawberries so let's go and I cut the tops off my strawberries I know a lot of people leave the little green on there but I don't want I just I don't like that when I'm serving it looks pretty but I really just kind of like them to be clean and all you have to do is just pop them in your mouth so and depending on how many people you have you may have a bigger board or you may need to come and kind of replenish it um, as you go so and let's see we've got some of these multi-grain crackers they're kind of big, so I'm actually going to try and break these in half. There we go. Yeah, those have broken half really nicely. Cover those there. And then we're going to put our brie, I think, kind of towards, kind of in the center here. No, because we'll have cheese there. Let's move the brie over by the strawberries. Maybe, or not, maybe here, there we go. And then we'll put some apples here. Don't want them to touch the crackers because then they'll get the crackers wet. And then we've got our Havarti cheese over here. So let's kind of do this. Take a little bit of that away because it's really crowding up. There we go. Just gonna pile that on. We're gonna scrunch that up a little bit. And we're gonna break a couple more of these crackers here. See, what else do we have oh our bread and we have our honey so I just 
got a jar, just kind of a decorative jar. So I'm just going to pour some of that honey in there. You don't need a lot. We'll pop that there. And then we've got a little honey dipper, big and dip. And then we don't have our bread on here yet or our nuts. The nuts will be easy. So we can just kind of scooch that cheese just a little bit. And that's all there is to it. We'll find a place, um, just a bowl or something to put our bread into. We may even warm it up. So, But that's all there is to putting together a fruit and cheese board. It's full, it's beautiful, um, and I think everyone will enjoy it.